What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. One album that I totally overlooked slash didn't remember that it had a release date in June for my most anticipated uh, albums video is Big Boy's Boomiverse. This is his third solo album. It's due out on June 16th uh, through Epic Records and Easily with all the information we have and now the track listing which I'm here to discuss today I feel like this is going to be another special album for him One of the first signs that made me feel like this is going to be a special album is the fact that Organized Noise co-produced on it So you're gonna hear a lot of Organized Noise and Big Boy collaborations and that is a good thing like they've already established how much chemistry they have and so that was one thing and uh, another thing that I looked up while I was doing my research was that Big Boy lets his kids pick his singles dating back to uh, Bombs Over Baghdad the Outkast joint from like 2000 I thought that was just interesting to know because it's a different approach but it feels like one that's worked you look at all the Outkast singles since then, um, you look at what Big Boy has done as a solo artist, you know, he had like the record like Tangerine featuring T.I. And you can tell that his kids know what to pick. So that, I think that was like a cool different approach. So that was something I just wanted to mention. By the way, that was in a Pitchfork video. So I wanted to, you know, shout them out and credit them with that information. Now, as we get into the track listing, Big Boy's Boomiverse is going to be 12 tracks long. So, not too short and not too long. In addition to Killer Mike, Jeezy, and Adam Levine, there will be guest features from Pimp C, from Corrupt, from Sleepy Brown, and others as well. A lot of the guest features look good to me, but I think the one that really jumped out was the fact that he has a record called In the South featuring Pimp C and Gucci Mane. I'm always a fan of more Pimp C music, and so I'm interested uh, a lot to hear the story. Like, did he just reach out to, you know, Pimp C's estate and get this verse, or was there something more to it? Like, I want to hear the story, and I feel like it'll be one that is worth sharing at some point when he does a future interview. And to have a Gucci Mane on it is, like, a given. If you're going to talk about, uh, you know, like, the title just being, like, the South, then you have to have someone like Gucci. You have to have somebody who's a staple. Elsewhere, you have some West Coast features. Uh, one is with Snoop Dogg on a song titled Get With It. And the other is on Made Man. And this was a collaboration that was teased before the track listing came out. It features Killer Mike and Corrupt. And as I mentioned when I first uh, talked about that news, uh, like, a couple months ago, I'm, like wondering how he thought like corrupt would be the person to be on this song like and now that you have snoop dogg on the album i'm wondering if like big boy and snoop dogg were in that in the studio together and then corrupt happened to come by or how that actually like came to fruition so what is my most anticipated song judging off of the track listing so far i would say that it is any of the guest feature combinations any of them really in the south with Gucci Mane and Pimp C. There's another record with Killer Mike and Currency on it. And so it's just like anytime that you have two rappers that are like an unlikely combination, I think that is interesting to see. And I'm sure that Big Boy is going to do something great with this album. Apparently this is the first of two albums that Big Boy plans to release in uh, the near future. I don't know any information about the second one other than that it exists. Big Boy has stated that uh, at some point there's going to be a, a follow-up to Boomiverse. And who knows how it will tie into it. I don't know if the, the concept of this album is going to be like as, um, you know, strict. I think it might be a loose concept, and so I'm wondering how that factors in with the second album. But like I said before, I don't, I'm don't. i not really in a rush for Big Boy to release a second album because I want to digest the first, and I want to enjoy that before you know he rushes to the next one. I don't think he needs to release it um, in 2017, but if he does, it would be 
the it would make the most sense to put it at like the tail end, you know, like late November, early December ish. So those are my thoughts about Big Boy's upcoming album, Boomiverse, based on the track listing. Um, I'll include it in the description section so you can check that out. And then let me know what songs you're anticipating the most. Are you excited for this album? Talk to me in the comment section below. Then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. Check out some other videos. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.